During this video, I will cover some training that will massively help the way you think about Amazon ads and how I've used them to earn over $5,000 a month while still working a full-time job. I will cover a bit about how I got started with Amazon KDP, how I learned to work smarter, not harder, why so many people lose money with Amazon ads and other topics that will benefit you. Plus, if you stay until the end, I have a special treat for you. Let's begin. Right, here is an overview of some of the topics I'll be covering today. And you really don't want to miss some of these. Okay, so for those of you that are new and don't know me yet, my name is Ben and I am the owner of the Facebook group KDP Secrets and I also run the YouTube channel Money on the Side. I am from England, as you can probably tell by my accent, and I live just outside of London. I live with my beautiful girlfriend Lorraine and we have a son called Kian who is three years old. To this day, I still work a full-time job on the railway. I repair and maintain the overhead electrical wires and all of the equipment that supports them. It is quite a dangerous job and I do not recommend it to anyone that is scared of heights. I've been doing this job for nearly 10 years now and I actually really enjoy it and have a good laugh with the people that I work with. I've been publishing with Amazon KDP for four years alongside my job and it has truly changed my life financially. My full-time job pays me very well but my earnings for Amazon KDP have now surpassed that, which is something that I never thought would be possible. As of today's date, I have sold over 115,000 books and earned a six-figure income. In 2022, I earned a total of just under $65,000 in royalties, which averages out to just over $5,300 per month. For 2023, I've already earned $45,000 and I still have four months to go, including Q4, which is typically when I earn the most royalties. Just to explain how lucrative Q4 is, for December 2022, I earned $14,000 in royalties. So hopefully I will earn more than that in 2023. I've got to this level without having any previous graphic design skills. In fact, I work a manual labor job full time, meaning that I have minimal to no contact with computers unless we have a test to do. I can admit that I'm not that intelligent if intelligence was based on academic results. In high school, I got below average grades and I even failed IT, which I now find pretty funny. These poor grades restricted the types of jobs that I could apply for, and I had to go down the route of using my hands instead of my brain for a living. Before I found Amazon KDP, I tried and failed at countless money-making ventures. I tried drop shipping, buying and selling on eBay, affiliate marketing, and blogging to name a few. I wasted a lot of money in the process and thought I was destined to only earn income from working at typical jobs, and I thought making money online was a pipe dream. Little did I know that side hustle success was right around the corner. Fast forward to today, and with thanks to Amazon KDP, I would say that I have reached financial freedom. I now earn more than my well-paying full-time job, and I can choose to quit that whenever I decide that I want more of my time back. I'm grateful not to have to worry about money and have set my family up for the future, which is the most important thing to me. My goal isn't to be extremely wealthy and have lots of material possessions. My goal is to have the freedom to choose if and when I want to work. I don't ever want to miss out on spending time with my family because I couldn't get the time off work or I couldn't afford to lose out on money. As my son grows older, I want to be at every school play, every football game and every parents evening. That is my goal. Let me know in the comments what your goal is. So I owe a lot to Amazon KDP as you can imagine and every month that goes by and my royalties keep coming in, I'm creating a better life for my family. I would love to help you reach your goals too because there is honestly so much money to be made from Amazon that we can all win together. Okay, so let me explain why Amazon advertising is the best way to help you achieve your goals in a quicker time frame. And I just wanna share a quick story about how I came across this. So I started publishing at the end of August 2019. You can see on the left is the first book that I published. I started a month or two after my partner revealed that she was pregnant. Because I wanted Lorraine to have a year off work after she gave birth, I knew that I would have to replace her wage as her maternity pay was not good. This realization really gave me a kick up the butt and is how I came across publishing on Amazon KDP. It is also the reason why I became obsessed with trying to make it work. 
From the end of August 2019 to the end of 2020, I published around 800 books. As you can imagine, most of these books, especially in the beginning, were rubbish as I was still learning. From experience, I know now that you do not need to publish anywhere near this amount of books to be successful. In 2021, I think I created close to 700 books. I was still obsessed, but now I was far more efficient at every part of the publishing process. My books were a lot better quality, and I was trying out new types of books and different design styles. However, at the end of 2021, I decided to start diversifying my income just in case my KDP account got shut for whatever reason. And that is when I uploaded my first YouTube video and created my Etsy store. With these newfound income streams, I found that I had less time to dedicate to Amazon KDP. Also, my partner went back to work for two days a week, which meant I had to look after my young son all day. Because I had less time to dedicate to Amazon KDP, I had to take a long hard look at my business and try to figure out where I could get the best return on my time that I did have. Remember, I still have a full-time job as well. I came to realize that the best return on my time was not pumping out book after book after book, but was creating fewer books, quality books, and then to run ads to each one. Not only that, I would use Amazon ads on my older books as well to maintain their positions or even keep them rising through the Amazon rankings. For 2022, I only managed to publish 60 books Compared to the previous years, that is a massive reduction in output. However, by using Amazon ads to my advantage, my royalties for 2022 increased by 43% compared to 2021. Seeing how well this worked for 2022, you bet I continue to work smarter in 2023. This year, I've only published 11 books. And as I mentioned earlier, I've already earned $45,000 so far with the biggest earning months still to come. Working smarter has given me a big portion of my time back. I have used this time to focus on my other income streams, spend more time with my family, and also create the Amazon Advertising Blueprint course. So for me, this was the right decision to make, and maybe one for you to consider if you don't have much spare time. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little analogy as to why publishing book after book and not advertising them is the wrong way to do things. Publishing books is like planting seeds in a garden. In the first few years, I was guilty of planting a vast number of seeds, hoping that some of them would grow and bear fruit. However, without proper care and attention, many of these seeds failed to thrive or got lost among the weeds. When I changed my mindset and focused on working smarter, I planted fewer seeds, but gave them the care and attention they needed. I watered them, protected them from pests, and nurtured their growth. As a result, these carefully tended plants flourished, stood out from the rest, and produced more fruit than the numerous seeds I'd planted before. Most books that don't get advertised get lost amongst the competition, but using ads to help them stand out and thrive is going to get you better results in the long run. Instead of spending all my spare time focusing on creating numerous books, I now spend about eight hours a week tending to my ads. I make sure there's no unwanted pests draining my ad spend and allowing my books to thrive amongst the competition. This strategy might be beneficial to you if, like me, you have a full-time job, kids, or other time commitments. If you don't have as many time commitments as myself, then there is no reason why you can't catch up to me or even earn more than me. Who struggles to dedicate time to Amazon KDP? Let me know in the comments. Next, I want to cover why you may be looking at Amazon ads the wrong way. I have found great success by using Amazon advertising to increase my total KDP royalties. When most people run ads, they only look at the Amazon advertising data and don't see the bigger picture. A lot of people give up on Amazon ads if their ACOS is too high and they're not getting many ad sales. What people tend to overlook is the fact that there is more going on than what you see. If you run ads to a book and for example, it gets 10 ad orders in the first month, and let's assume that because it's your first month, you haven't optimized it properly yet, and the ACOS is above break even. This means that you're spending more money on ads than you are getting back in return via royalties. People panic when they see the higher than wanted ACOS and label the campaign as ineffective. However, what you don't see is the potential organic sales that the book might generate because your book has moved higher up the Amazon rankings. Or the ad data doesn't show you when a shopper clicks on your ad, doesn't buy your book, but comes back another time to purchase. The next month, your ad campaign gets 20 sales. If you know how to optimize your ads effectively, 
your ACOS may even be at break even now. You also get more organic sales. In the third month, you continue to optimize your campaigns, removing negative search terms and so on. You get more ad sales and you begin to get more organic sales. Some people still overlook the fact that these ad sales will push your book up the Amazon rankings and algorithm and you will get more organic sales. But guess what? The more ad and organic sales you get, the more chance you have of getting a good review. In my experience, if your book is of decent quality, it roughly takes about 50 orders to get a positive review. So the more orders we get by ads and organic, the quicker we can mathematically get a good review. And guess what? If your book has a good review or a good rating, this makes it more desirable to customers. And guess what? This makes our conversion rate better in our ad campaigns, meaning we should convert more of our ad orders. You can see how this starts to snowball in our favor. We get more organic sales. More organic sales means more royalties. We can reinvest back into advertising to scale faster and compound our sales rapidly. This is why I spend on average about $1,300 a month on ads. These are royalties reinvested back into ads, which in turn generates more organic sales. The more we scale, the more combined orders we get, and the quicker we get more reviews, and more importantly, get closer to page one on Amazon for certain search terms. This is the bigger picture that most people do not see, and it is stopping their overall growth. So what they end up doing is working hard on making a good quality book, spend a lot of time and then hope it will be found by a shopper who just so happens to have the patience to scroll to page 17 and then by some miracle, choose your book. And even if that does happen by some miracle, they would need that miracle to happen roughly 50 times before they get a good review. Do you know how long that will take, if at all? I don't know about you, but I will take my chances with advertising. Now, I know a lot of you are in different countries and don't have the privilege of running ads due to it costing a lot and I completely understand and sympathize with you. If this is the case, you will need to be more creative and focus on showcasing your books for free on social media. Work on building a following. Eventually, if you're consistent, you may see an increase in royalties and in time might be able to reinvest into Amazon advertising. Okay, hopefully you can now see how Amazon advertising can help you supercharge your total royalties. Now, some of you that have tried ads may be thinking, Ben, that sounds like a lovely idea, but I can't get my ad campaigns anywhere close to break even and I'm losing money. And I totally understand. By far the most difficult part of running ads is knowing how to optimize them effectively. Not knowing how to do this properly is how most people lose money. And if you lose enough money, you will understandably give up. What happens with most people is they rush into running Amazon ads without the proper knowledge. They watch a few YouTube videos about ads and think it will all work out okay. You can do all right by winging it with most areas of self-publishing, but you can't with Amazon advertising. Making a lot of mistakes with Amazon ads will cost you money, whereas if you made mistakes with your cover designs or niche research, you will only have wasted your time. This is why Amazon advertising should be taken seriously. If I'm completely honest, there will be a large number of people watching this that have spent a lot of money trying to figure out Amazon ads. Much more money than the price of my advertising course. So that's something to think about. In the two or three years since I started my Facebook group, I've watched many people come and go. Most start out all excited and then normally after three to six months of poor results, I never hear from them again. I remember at the beginning of this year, a member of my group said that she wanted to start running ads. However, I knew that she was extremely new to KDP by the questions that she used to ask in the group. Very basic questions. So like I do with other beginners, I advised her to hold off on running ads and to focus on getting her books and other areas of publishing to a good standard first. Otherwise, there was a good chance that she would lose money. If your book isn't to a good standard, advertising it will be like throwing your money down the toilet. Anyway, she chose to ignore my advice, which is totally fine, obviously. A short while later, she posted in a group that she was spending around $40 per day on ads for only a couple of books and that she wasn't making many sales. Again, she was advised that this was not a good approach by myself and other experienced members. Again, she chose to ignore the advice and thought she could figure it out by herself through trial and error. She continued like this for another month or two, still asking for advice in the group, but choosing to ignore my advice to stop her campaigns and go back to the drawing board and put some real effort into learning Amazon ads. I haven't heard from her in about four months now, so I'm assuming she couldn't sustain the loss of money and probably gave up publishing altogether. 
which is sad, and I wish she had listened to me. Keeping your ad campaigns under control is a skill. There isn't a great deal of free information out there on how to optimize your ads correctly. And I even took a few dedicated ad courses to compare against mine. The information is all very similar, vague, and generic. They make generalizing statements like, turn off your keywords after eight clicks and no sales, and stuff like that. That advice is not helpful and doesn't teach you how to adapt to different campaigns, strategies, or different scenarios. Because this is the area where most people struggle, in the Amazon Advertising Blueprint course, I've dedicated a whole module on optimization. I go into great detail on how to optimize each type of campaign, provide a helpful spreadsheet to make your life easier, and also explain how I optimize the bonus campaigns too. Also, I offer advice on when to stop a campaign and what to do when you get no sales from your campaigns. Who has heard of the random ad slash lottery ad strategy? This strategy has been flying around YouTube for about a year or so now and has been labeled as ineffective and bad-mouthed by a lot of people. However, because I know how to optimize my campaigns effectively, here are a few of my results. As you can see, hardly ineffective. So I not only teach you how to optimize the standard campaigns like automatic products and keyword, but I also show you how I optimize the random ad strategy as well as the other bonus strategies because you have to adapt to each campaign differently. There isn't a one size fits all strategy when it comes to optimizing your campaigns. I created my Facebook group and YouTube channel to help self publishers. And I hate to see anyone throwing money away. I will always try to give you information that will help you to succeed. Your trust is worth more to me than money. And for that reason, I do not recommend for anyone to buy the Amazon Advertising Blueprint course if they have just started publishing. I don't want you to waste your money on ads applying what I'm teaching. Because like I said, if your book covers and other areas of your publishing process are not up to a good standard yet, even my advertising knowledge won't help you. So I advise waiting until you're confident that your books are desirable first before running ads or buying this course. If you still want to ignore my advice and purchase this course, I can't stop you, but at least wait a while before you apply what I'm teaching. Who is still with me? This next topic is an interesting one and might surprise you. Are you losing money without realizing? There is a huge misconception in the KDP space about what kind of ACOS you should aim for. I've witnessed countless people on YouTube and in courses say things like, if your ACOS is below 30%, then you should be fine. Or if your ACOS is below 25%, then you should be in profit. This is incorrect information that gets regurgitated from YouTuber to YouTuber, and then unfortunately makes its way to the public. There isn't many people that actually show you how to work out your breakeven ACOS for each book. Without this knowledge and following generic ACOS percentages that YouTubers recommend, you could be losing money without actually knowing it. Another thing many don't take into account is the tax that you may pay on top of your advertising costs. For example, because I'm based in the UK, I must pay tax on top of my advertising, which is 20%. Now, different countries will have different taxes, so speak to a tax professional local to you. So if you are paying tax on your advertising, this will change your breakeven ACOS. I have a very handy ACOS calculator that will work out all of this for you, and you will get access to that if you purchase my course. But let me give you a few examples of the different types of books and the actual breakeven ACOS. Let's take a standard paperback logbook that is 8.5 by 11 inches, has 109 pages, and is black and white interior. Because of the recent Amazon printing increases, the book is now priced at $7.99, and has a royalty of $1.95. When I input these figures into my calculator, it tells me that the breakeven ACOS is 24.41%. Okay, so that's cool, but what if I was to pay 20% tax on top of that? That would effectively drop my breakeven ACOS to around 19.5%. This handy ACOS calculator comes with built in formulas that adjust your breakeven ACOS depending on your tax percentages. So if you were running an ad to this book and you were paying 20% tax, you would be losing money if your ACOS was showing anything above 19.5%. If you got your advice from some YouTubers, you may have thought that if your ACOS was under 30%, then you were fine, but this is not the case at all. Next, let's look at a hardcover book. This book is seven by 10 inches, has 109 pages and a black and white interior. 
This book is priced at $14.99 and has a royalty of $1.50. If I put these figures into my ACOS calculator, it tells me that the breakeven ACOS for this book is only 10%. And that is without taking tax into consideration. So because this book incurs larger printing costs, it drastically changes the breakeven ACOS. If you were running ads to this book and were aiming for a breakeven ACOS of 25%, you would be losing a lot of money. In this case, if you achieved one sale from ads and your ACOS was around 25%, then you would be at a loss of $2.20. If over the course of one month, you managed to keep your breakeven ACOS at the same percentage of around 25%, but you got 20 orders from your ads, you would be at a loss of $44. Okay, so that's a loss of $2.20 times by 20. Okay, so that loss is based on the breakeven ACOS of 10%. Now that is without taking tax into consideration. If I did that, then the losses would be even greater. That $44 loss was only for one campaign. Imagine if you were running multiple campaigns. As you become more experienced with Amazon KDP, you will hopefully add different types of books, like hardcovers, books with colored interiors, coloring books, activity books, and these will all incur different printing costs that will affect what the break-even ACOS is. It would be a costly mistake to assume that as long as your ACOS is below 30%, you are okay, and below 25%, you are in profit. Who is confused by the ACOS spreadsheet? Don't worry if you are. I go into great detail about this in my course and have a dedicated lesson to show you how to use all of the different features so that you never unknowingly lose money again. The information I share in this lesson within my course and how to use the calculator will pay for the price of this course multiple times over by way of saving you money over your advertising future. And I do have more valuable information to share with you in the course. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So now the question is, why should you trust what I'm saying? Well, I've been sharing my journey on YouTube over the last two years now. I've been honest about my ups and downs and also the royalties that I have received. I have uploaded an income report every single month as proof and to document my journey, which you can take a look at. I have uploaded 67 videos, and in those videos, I've given valuable insights, helpful tutorials, and shared the tips and tricks that have gotten me to this point today. Here are some of the kind comments people have left on my videos. It's a lovely feeling to know that you're helping people, so thank you if you've ever left me a comment on one of my videos. I also try my best to reply to everyone. Despite having a full-time job through my Amazon KDP journey, I have managed to sell more books than each of the two biggest KDP YouTubers, Paul Miles and Stacking Profit. They both have an army of subscribers and without a doubt put out valuable content for their audiences. A lot of self-publishers follow their advice and their tips and tricks on how to sell more books on Amazon. But if you think logically, wouldn't you rather trust the advice of someone who has better results and has done so with less free time and in a shorter period of time? I hope that doesn't come across arrogant because that is truly not my intention. I'm just speaking logically. When we look for help on YouTube, we tend to flock towards the channels with the most subscribers without checking the results of what they're teaching. That being said, I would absolutely take their advice on how to grow a large YouTube channel because clearly they are smashing it. So that is YouTube. In my Facebook group, I have given advice and offered help and solutions thousands of times without asking for anything in return. You can imagine how much time that adds up to. To this day, I've spent around $40,000 on Amazon advertising and countless hours of trial and error, learning what works and what doesn't, how to optimize effectively and testing out many strategies. I have put all of this knowledge into the Amazon advertising blueprint course to save you time, money, and the stress of it. If you are still unsure whether to trust me or my knowledge, here are the opinions of all five beta testers that have gone through the course. These lovely people have had nothing but positive things to say about the course, which is fantastic to hear. It was always in the back of my mind that I had to explain my lessons in a way that publishers at all levels would easily understand. It took me roughly three months to create the course from start to finish. The reason it took so long is because I re-recorded most of the lessons two or three times, each time making it clearer to understand and even more straight to the point. Okay, so I'm very proud to put my name to this course and to share the knowledge with you. 
Now, if you've been following me for a few years, you will have seen my progress with Amazon KDP. I'm now at the point where I'm making enough money from Amazon KDP that I can afford to relax a bit and focus on other important things like spending more time with my family. We are planning to go on free holidays next year, which we're all very excited about. Like I said before, I'm not materialistic, so I do not need to kill myself trying to make loads of money and sacrifice the important things in life. I'm happy to use Amazon advertising to leverage my time and hopefully my KDP earnings will stay at the same level or rise if I'm lucky. If you have bigger financial goals than me, you can absolutely earn more than I do. There are lots of people that earn over $100,000 from Amazon KDP. But I do believe advertising on Amazon will help you to get to those levels quicker than if you did not advertise. Now I have one final thing to cover and then I would like to reward you for staying until the end. Hopefully you may now realize that the knowledge inside the course is valuable, but does the value match the price? Why should you pay for my advertising knowledge when you can find tons of videos for free on YouTube? Well, the first reason is convenience. You can probably find a lot of free information online about Amazon advertising, but it will mean searching for hours to find the right article or video on the specific advertising topic that you need. You will then need to do the same thing to find the next advertising topic. Then you have to decide whether the source can be trusted or not. If you buy my course, you will have all of the lessons in one place, in the correct order, and without the fluff that YouTubers love to add to extend their video length. Convenience is why companies like Spotify exist. I have Spotify because it is very convenient. With Spotify, you have all of the music that you want in one place instantly. Yes, there are certain free websites that let you copy music from YouTube and then convert it to let you download it. But who wants to spend time doing that for every song? Not me. Wasted time is something that most people don't factor into the equation. Searching online for all of this information would take up a lot of your time, time that could be spent making money. Money is something that you can always make more of, but time is something that you can never get back. That is why rich people are happy to give their money away to get their time back. They pay for cleaners, gardeners, chefs, people to repair things in their home, and much more. The second reason is related to the first, and that is speed. If you follow the tips and strategies that I use regarding Amazon ads, or KDP in general, you will benefit from the trial and error that I've gone through and also the golden nuggets of information. This means that you are essentially shortcutting your way to success. A quote that I love is success leaves clues, which basically means that if you follow someone who is good at something for long enough, you are bound to learn from them and you will pick up the breadcrumbs of success that they leave behind. So I would be a hypocrite if I spoke about paying for someone else's knowledge if I didn't actually do it myself. So let me take you back to the beginning of my KDP journey. When my partner fell pregnant and I realized I needed to make more money, I immediately went to Google and typed in things like how to make money online and best online side hustles. I'm sure most of you have done the same thing, right? I read lots of articles and watched hours of YouTube videos trying to find something that I was interested in. I finally came across Amazon KDP. I joined various Facebook groups and while I was looking through the groups, there were multiple posts in different groups about a 21 day challenge. There were lots of likes and comments on these posts, so I decided to investigate. The challenge would offer live KDP training for an hour each day for 21 days. After some back and forth, I decided to take the punt and register for the course. I knew that taking the challenge would save me a lot of time trying to figure out each of the steps on YouTube. I did have some doubts about whether I would be good at it as I had no prior design experience or wasn't that creative. I was used to doing dirty manual labor, so I didn't know if I could make pretty looking books. However, I pushed my self doubt to one side and was excited to start. Anyway, long story short, I took the course and showed up every day. The course was hosted by three people and they all had a different set of skills. But one of them in particular, Jacob Bates, outshone the others because he seemed to have a lot more knowledge. He could answer questions immediately while the other two hosts looked a bit unsure. If you've been publishing for long enough, you might know who Jacob is. The course was fantastic and I learned every part of the publishing process, which has helped me enormously. Halfway through the course, I reached out to Jacob to ask if he offered mentoring, to which he said yes. 
so we hopped on a call to discuss things further. I wanted mentoring from Jacob because I knew he was the real deal and I wanted to succeed as fast as possible. From watching him live, he was able to create good looking book covers and interiors. He was also clued up about his niche research, keywords and so on. Plus, he was earning well from KDP. The price for three months one-to-one -one mentoring was $1,800. This included an hour long video call every week where he would teach me new things, critique my books, set me tasks to complete by the next call and so on. I remember thinking that the price was very steep and I was meant to be making extra money, not losing it. He assured me that I would make the money back within a year, but hopefully a lot sooner if I put in the effort. Of course, I was skeptical because most people that want your money would give you these promises. I thought about joining his mentoring for a few days and I finally decided to do it. He had gained enough of my trust up to this point and I felt there was a lot more that I could learn from him. He started mentoring me a few weeks later and during these three months, he taught me so many tips and strategies that I still use today. He taught me silly things like how to organize my files. He also taught me how to be more efficient with my time and more advanced strategies. But more importantly, he showed me where I was going wrong and how I could improve. The benefit of following someone who has found success in a certain field is that they save you time. Time you would waste making mistakes over and over, and they can also give you feedback on how to improve based on what they know actually works. In the first three months of being mentored by Jacob, I had earned the money back that I paid him, plus I learned skills and knowledge that has set me up for life. Going through the 21 day challenge gave me the fundamentals of how to self publish and being mentored by Jacob accelerated my chances of success. Jumping back to today, I have earned more than a hundred times the cost of the 21 day challenge and the mentoring. Paying for those two things have been the best investments that I've ever made. The question is, would I be where I am today if I didn't take the course or pay for mentoring? Who knows? Would I have given up because there were too many unknowns to figure out? Probably, because that's what I've done in the past with other money-making ventures. And that is why to this day, I still take courses and I even pay $60 for a book. So yes, you can probably struggle on learning for free and save yourself a bit of money. But what is the real cost in doing that? What if it takes you five years instead of two years to make $1,000 per month? I'll let you work out how much money you would have missed out on in those three years. The final reason is a psychological one. When we invest our hard earned money into something, we're more than likely to take it seriously and commit to seeing it through. This added layer of accountability can be the difference between dabbling and genuinely diving deep into mastering a skill or subject. You will be more engaged and motivated to apply what you've learned simply because you've made a financial commitment. I remember a number of years back, Udemy, an online course platform, was running a huge sale. In this sale, they were offering hundreds of courses for free. At the time, I couldn't believe my luck. So I went ahead and added all of the courses that I was interested in. Guess what? I never even opened the emails to get access to the course. Four years later, I finally opened the email so that you can see how much the course was and how much I got it for. Maybe you've experienced the same thing with things that are free. Okay, so I have a question for you. Has your time on this training been well spent? Have you learned anything? Type yes or no in the comments. Now you have two options. Option one, you can take what you've learned today and try to implement everything by yourself without any help and probably continue to struggle. Option two, I show you what really works with Amazon ads step by step and share the tips and strategies that have helped me to get over $5,000 a month. If you typed option two and are ready to stop wasting money on ads and you're ready to start earning some life-changing royalties, here is what you will get if you buy my course. You will get lifetime access to the Amazon Advertising Blueprint course that will guide you through every part of the Amazon advertising journey from basic fundamentals to more advanced advertising strategies. You will get two very helpful spreadsheets. The ACOS calculator spreadsheet will stop you from losing a lot of wasted money and should pay for the price of this course on its own. You will also get another spreadsheet that will help you to collect keywords that have converted into a sale, which will help to make your campaigns more profitable. You will also get an insight into my personal advertising strategy, which covers even more outside the box thinking. 
Also, I will not only show you how to set up free bonus ad strategies, but I will show you how to effectively optimize them as well. If that wasn't enough value for you, there is also a bonus lesson on how to use ads to target communities or businesses that are likely to buy your books in bulk. At least once a week, people buy multiple copies of my books in one order, meaning that I'm able to generate a lot of my royalties from a minimal ad spend. My best bulk order so far is someone ordering 28 copies in one order from clicking on my ad. That ad spent just 74 cents. If that still wasn't enough value, and you are still unsure whether you can make this work on your own after going through my course, then when you buy this course, you will automatically get access to the private Amazon Advertising Blueprint Facebook group. Here, you will get continued support from myself and other knowledgeable members. This group will be strictly for advertising questions and for sharing new strategies or to bounce advertising ideas around so that we can all benefit. Having continued support in my Facebook group increases the value of this offer enormously. Just for clarity, I charge $150 per hour for pay-as-you-go mentoring. It is hard to put a price on the value of this course because the knowledge that you will get access to will stop you from wasting money on your ads in the future. It will save you a lot of time trying to figure things out on your own. Plus, you will learn more advanced strategies that will help scale your KDP business. And like I mentioned before, you get extra guidance from myself if you get stuck with anything. For that reason, the value of this package is worth at least $2,000. However, because I want to keep your trust, I want to keep you happy, and I want you to feel like you're getting a bargain, I'm offering all of this value for $399. But because you've stayed until the end of this video, and because I'm so excited to share my knowledge with you, I would like to reward you with another reduction in price. For you, this course will not be $399. It will be half price at $197. However, because of the time and support I will need to give in the dedicated Facebook group, this launch day special price will only be available for a certain number of orders. When that number gets hit, the system will automatically put the price back to $399, which if I'm honest, is still incredible value for all of this. Now, there are just under 20,000 people in my Facebook group and over 6,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So don't think about it for too long and miss out on the heavily reduced price. To purchase, you will need to click on the link in the comments or the description. Then you will be taken to a page that looks like this and you will need to enter in all of your details. You don't need to put anything where it says your business name unless you want to. Once you have paid, you will instantly be sent an email with your joining instructions and you'll need to click on the link there. Okay, so because I love this supportive community so much, I really have tried to offer as much value as humanly possible inside this course. Before I let you go, I just want to remind you that investing in yourself is the best thing that you can do. The more you learn, the more you earn, as they say. If I didn't invest in learning from someone who has succeeded in this field, I wouldn't be here today. So that is it. Thank you for listening to me today. I hope you got something out of it. I love you all. Take care.